Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to the channel. We're here in sunny Fort Lauderdale today taking a look at the Vandal 46 Explorer uh, Power Cat. This is a brand new boat which has just made its way here to the US market following the West Palm Beach Boat Show. Came here from the Med. This is in a Dutch built boat, an aluminum yacht that is built with commercial stylings and commercial build quality but with yachting comfort. We're going to start here on the foredeck off the dock because I'm not brave enough to go forward one-handed with my shooting rig. You notice first that there are two big ventilation hatches that lead to the uh, stateroom and the head respectively. You got a windlass uh, with a plow anchor up here. And this boat doesn't use cleats, it uses bollards which can be used just like cleats but again being that this boat is aluminum they're welded directly into the deck. There's no risk of them ever ripping out. This boat is a flybridge yacht. So, how exactly did this boat come to exist? It is a, uh, it's a common story where an owner generally wants, uh, has some specific desires, but there's nothing on the market that quite fits it. So, they take it upon themselves to start building a custom yacht, which eventually morphs into a semi-custom brand. That is the story here with uh, Vandal Marine. So what the owner really wanted was a, a boat, a hydrofoil assisted catamaran, the largest that could be driven by these two twin Yamaha 425s. You'll have to pardon the construction noise, but uh, the show must go on. And since this didn't exist on the market, he decided to build it himself. The entire boat uh, downstairs living area is just a single space. We'll go to the flybridge uh, in a bit, but I'll call your attention to the fact that you have these nice, you know, sturdy aluminum tubing that constitutes all of the handrails around the boat. The tongue that sticks out here uh, leads to a, a swim ladder that has three separate positions. Again, this boat is also uh, done up in sea deck. And you also have a, a rain shower here, which is a fantastic feature that I'm told everyone loves. This sun pad back here, again, has a transport, transposable arm, allows you to adjust how big or how small it is. We'll head up top. The forward helm, sta the helm station up here is, very, is pretty far forward, which just gives you an idea of how kindly this boat is in a big sea. It's got the joystick as well as uh, twin throttles, Ray Marine electronics. Really great visibility from up here. This seat as well, uh, actually I was told it swivels so you can actually face the aft sun pad, which again has another transposable arm. Uh, JL audio system down here. If you're wondering how you get the dinghy up here. It's hidden very well, but uh, that, that stainless steel connection forms the arm that swings out and allows you to use that Harkin winch to winch up the dinghy. Beneath the dinghy, it's a little difficult to see in this sun. There's actually a solar array down there. Again, dinghy. Uh, don't want a lot, a lot of weight up here. Keep it simple, keep it light. Uh, as far as other solar options go, this boat doesn't have a hard top, but the sales manager uh, did tell me that it is an option. It's one of the benefits of dealing with aluminum. You don't have to build molds for things, so you just, uh, you know, ask what you want and uh, the craftsman will weld it up for you. Heading back down, we'll move into the galley slash main living area now. We've got a twin electric burner stove, a single basin sink. Uh, this tray down here is uh, hinged so it can fold up. And the forward helm station also comes with a bolster seat. And again, a second set of Raymarine electronics. There's a ventilation hatch, which is right uh, right where I'm pointing. 
This boat, like I said, made its way here from the Med. So air conditioning wasn't uh, necessarily a huge, uh, a huge consideration in its design, though it can come equipped with one. Looking at the head here. And also I'll draw your attention to underneath the galley. We actually do have uh, uh, twin Dometic units that are held in place by these uh, spring loaders. So you can just pop those up, pull them out, grab whatever refreshments are needed. You have another two built-in Dometic units. Uh, I'm also told you can have an ice maker there. Like I said, semi-custom, a lot of options. So really kind of a build your own boat scenario. We'll head into the stateroom now. This is a king size bed. So yeah, a thwart ship berth, really nice. Like I said, I mean, hey, if it ain't Dutch, well, you know the saying. So yeah, uh, again, like I said, you don't necessarily need AC on this boat. It's very comfortable. You got one hatch here, but you also have another hatch here for cross ventilation. Now, as for the actual performance on this baby, she can go pretty darn fast. The top speed, I'm told, is 40 knots. Comes out to uh, a little under 50 miles an hour. Take a look at the mechanical space as well while I discuss the performance specs. The range is uh, 250. I'm told she carries 330 gallons. So the uh, efficiency is a little under about one, one mile per gallon, 0.9 or so. This mechanical space houses the uh, electrical system, the transformer inverter, as well as the battery bank. And the opposite mechanical space houses a genset. As for a typical cruising speeds, uh, between 25 to 30 knots, 27 I'm told is the sweet spot. So not that you would wanna always be going 40 miles an hour. Uh, 50 miles an hour if you're in a real hurry. It's nice, but she's really designed to cruise that are more closer to uh, 25 to 30. Now, as far as the actual design of the boat, this boat is a foil assisted catamaran. I know that some of you have probably seen videos from the, uh, you know, that Swedish company with the boat that sticks out of the water. This isn't it. <laughs> Just gonna say that that is not what this is. The difference between a hydrofoil boat and a foil assisted boat. Now about where I'm standing, I'm told, is where the hydrofoil is. It rests in between the hulls. And unlike some other hydrofoil assist boats, uh, this boat, this hydrofoil was actually designed to be beachable. So uh, you can't really strike it uh, if you hit an object. It'll hit the hulls first. But it doesn't cause the boat to pop out of the water entirely. It just helps the boat rise up a bit to improve that fuel efficiency. So, you know, hydrofoils have been around for a while, but pure hydrofoils have not necessarily become the standard. Sometimes a bit less is more. So that'll wrap it up for the Vandal 46 uh, Explorer yacht. This boat is available here in Fort Lauderdale. If you want to set up a showing, please uh, give me a ring. My contact info is in the description. As always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.